three runs already home here. And a bit of a jam shot there as this is on the ground to second. He's right there. And there's one away. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Marcus Stroman. It was a walk in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Hanging curveball taken though for a second strike. Three runs, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. At the plate now, Jeff McNeil. As he gets a good curveball here to start the at-bat, it's strike one. No hits to this point. Here's the 0-1. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. A little early and now it's even at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Inside, he misses ball four. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. And now, Luis Guillorme hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. He's set and the pitch. Outside, that's the ball. McNeil is off of first with two away. In for a strike, it's one and one. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And that is off the wall. And the run will score all the way from first. It's four to two. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Stepping in now, Dominic Smith. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Lindor is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The Mets lead it four to two. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Joaquin Dias. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Now a ball hit high in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Nimmo. One away.
So one gone off. now as we give you a look at where these two teams really? find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. And now here is Willie Castro. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 1. We're in the sixth inning now of a 4 to 2 ball game. Smoke toward third. Davis grabs it cleanly. On to first, and there were two down. So the next to bat will be Javier Baez. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Now here's the first offering. Oh, missed that one by a mile. It's 0 and 1. Now you could just see this guy out on the mound right here. Just the body language. He knows he's on top of his game. Executing a nasty slider down the way right there. Giving this offense no chance. The 0 1 on its way. Slow little roller to third. Davis has got it. Throw cleanly oh. into first, and that ends the inning. So nothing happening this time around. Seventh inning coming up. Mets out in front, four to two. And stepping in, Pete Alonzo. And he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. Alonzo. First offering on its way. Fouled off. A ball and a strike to the Mets first baseman. Two balls and a strike. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And he comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. And this is lined hard to deep left. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first down. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Into the box, Brandon Nimmo. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Past history with Lucas Giolito, just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Boy, that's a tough pitch to take right there. I'm not sure if you're guessing or you're sitting on a pitch, but boy, that was awfully close to being called a strike. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hit back up the middle. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. In now, J.D. Davis. And he lays off there, 1-0. and He's 2 for 3 and looking for more here. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Seventh inning here at the ballpark, 4 2 our score. In the dirt here, runner holds as the count moves to 2 and 1. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Here now the 2 2. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Full count now, three and two. 
We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Nimmo stands at first with one out, and this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Right about now, the manager's questioning his decision to bring this guy in. If you can't trust a reliever to throw strikes, you can't trust him at all. We'll see if he comes to get him sooner than later. Mitch Henniger will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. From the stretch. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. and oh. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Runners are at first and second with one away. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Stepping in once again is James McCann. And he's got an opportunity to add to this lead, but the double play is in order. Now the first pitch. A bouncer up the middle. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Out of the plate, Bryce Harper. He bounced out last time up. The right fielder. First pitch of the AB now. Harper. And this is foul tip to the plate right off the arm of the catcher behind the plate. Ouch. The wind up and the 0 1. Off the plate and in. Hits a ball and a strike. Pretty good pitch right here to a left handed power hitter. The one thing you want to do. Keep the ball inside so he can't get those long arms out and extended. Really good pitcher's pitch right there, even though he didn't get the called strike. The 2 1. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Now that, let's Striding in is Giancarlo Stanton. He went down on strikes Stanton. last time up. Outfield shaded a bit to left center the first pitch. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side and that's in there base hit. Hey this pitcher has been absolutely in his zone up until this Double point. Pitch. That was a retired Double streak Double just team. broken up. He had retired Three. 12 batters Five, in a row. That's four clean innings. Let's see if the offense gets going. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. And he fouls this one off. A hit in two tries for him so far. And he lays off for ball one. Hard hit towards center. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Now a long throw to third. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. 
And now back to the second baseman. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Hunter Strickland will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Martin Maldonado is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. So we've got runners at the corners here, one away, and with it comes Francisco Lindor to the plate. From the stretch, here's the pitch as he rips it on the ground to second. To second for one on the first, and how about that for a Ready now is Martin Maldonado, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after Devin Williams has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. And the pitch. Starts him out with a cutter and he gets him to swing through it one strike. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, there's the great equalizer, the change of El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Into the box now, Jeff McNeil. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now the 0-1. One. one and one. Line to the right side. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Into the windup and the pitch. Slow roller out to short. Reined in. And there are two away now. Next up for New York, Luis Guillorme. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And it's fouled away. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the play and that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three, as they can't add to their four to two lead. Seth Lugo is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next to hit is the catcher, JT Real Muto. The catcher. Real First pitch on the way.
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. To third, Davis brings it in. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now with the plate is Devin Williams. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed its 0-1. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. This is popped up. Alonzo moving to his left. Two down. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Joaquin Dias. He flew out in his last A.B. First pitch on its way. Getting late 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Outside at 94, one ball and one strike. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number three. Dominic Smith. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First delivery to him. Hit to third. Baez fields it cleanly. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher's still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Keith Alonso is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Struggling in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. He's ready. One. And this catches the zone as well. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Brandon Nimmo comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. He's working on a 1-for-3 thus far. From the stretch. Ball, that's it. 
Runners on first with one down. Grounded to the right. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. So a runner at second. Two down now. And into bed next will be J.D. Davis. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. He's set. Here's the 0-1. And that misses 1-1. One and one. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2-1. From the stretch. And this one's in the dirt. No advance here, but it's three and one now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Up next for the Mets, the right fielder. Big spot here. First and second. Two men gone. And up next, the corner outfielder, Mitch Hanniger. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Hit weakly back to the mound. On the first. And the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. Two left for the Mets. But they still lead this one four to two. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Edwin Diaz comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And stepping up as the shortstop, Willie Castro. Hey, not an easy thing to do, even at home, when you're down by two, trying to score a couple of runs off of one of the game's top closers. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Fastball well outside. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? Popped him up. Guillaume over to his right. He's got it one away. So the leadoff man two. gone to start the top of the okay. ninth as we take a look at league six oh, yeah. leaders entering play. And as you can see right there, he's up near the top in the National League, currently third best. Now to the plate, here is Javier Baez. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First pitch of the A-B now. Now he extends nicely and this ball is driven to right field and deep. Peraza is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. The right fielder. So Number here's three. the cleanup hitter Bryce right. Harper and he needs to make Harper. something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First offering. You have to find a way in this situation to look in that on deck circle and find a way to get your best hitter to the plate with a chance to tie it. Here it comes 1 and 0. Oh. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. And he lays off for a ball 2 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Well, this is a big pitch right here. Two outs in the ninth. The last thing you want to do is walk a guy and bring the tying run to the plate. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. That is just a great at-bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them, and that never-say-die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. 
Giancarlo Stanton now. Man at first after the two out walk. From the belt, the pitch. Now this guy's got some of the nastiest stuff in the game, and it is absolutely no fun for an offense to try and piece together any type of attack when he's throwing this stuff. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. The 2 1. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know. Everybody top step in the dugout. Get on this guy and make him nervous. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. The closer is supposed the to slam base. the door on his opponent, but Three. he left the door wide open oh, with a walk yeah. there. We'll see if they can capitalize on it. Big spot here. First and second. Two men gone. And that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. He's set. Here it comes. And he swings right over the top of this one, nothing in one. For most people, being down on one would seem like a lot, but this guy is such a good hitter. He doesn't care going deep in the count. He's got runners on base. He has a game plan every time he comes to the plate. Let's see how this one plays out. Hoskins behind the count 0 and 2. Two out, two strike offering. Here it is. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Grounded to third. Davis grabs it cleanly. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him. And the Mets have taken the first two games of this series on the road as this one is over. Four to two, the final score tonight. The Mets wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Marcus Stroman earns win number four on the season. Edwin Diaz records the save, his 12th of the season. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney on the field, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching. MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody.